So we have met up with those EECC folks and decided to do a bar crawl. One of the things that folks want to know about are all these new bars on here. And you know what? what? While, while we're on this cruise and the bar drinks are included, take it, advantage of it. It's the perfect time. Try the new things so then we can tell you what they're like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's start here at the lime and coconut. Guys, they have a steel pan for me to play. That's amazing. There is our lime and coconut menu. Some of these might be some duplicates over the course of this experiment, but hey, they're worth looking at again. Well, I have selected a Goombe Smash, and Dee has gone with the lime and coconut, which is their signature drink, the namesake. Never had it before. Oh, okay. I see why it's a signature drink. It's on the sweet side, but it's not overly sweet. And if you like coconut, it's good. But then the lime gives that like acidic punch that it needs. It's really good. Cheers. Better call the doctor. Okay, lime and coconut. No. That is darn good. <laughs> you can hear folks playing with that steel pan. That's just fun times. One down. Ah ah ah. Well, on to the next. So now we've got the frozen version of lime and coconut. Yeah, having these uh, machines up here makes these nice little layered type of cocktails really fast and really easy. Good gracious, no sooner had I turned the camera on, he was done. So I got the peachy paradise, you got... Uh, tropical melon blast, pina colada, and watermelon. All right, tropical melon blast. Woohoo! And this kind of connects out to the swim and tonic swim up bar. So I guess if you're in the bar, you can get some nice frozen layered cocktails or, you know, non-layered, whatever your uh, preference is there. And if you're not a frozen drink drinker, they have beer here too, both on tap and in cans and things. Another one bites the dust. Well, up next is the actual swim and tonic, but um, I don't think we're gonna get there. I guess we could go dig a menu out of the pool, but... Uh, Oh my gosh, D is going in. All right. I'm the only one wearing proper shoes and socks. Oh good, there's a menu. Well, the tunes are bumping out here, so I'll try to talk over them, but there is the actual menu. A limoncello and tonic, pirate in a coconut tree, and bay at the beach. That's cute. Oh, they're cute. All right, I'm giving the camera to Dee. She's gonna go get some bar footage. <laughs> I'll do the narration just in case she forgot to talk over the footage. Oh my gosh, look at all this amazing bar content. It is fantastic. So much bar. I wish we had our bathing suits on because it would be amazing. Woo! Yeah, that's funny that there literally is no land component that we can find to this bar. You have to be in the pool to get to, the, or you know, over here where these guys are, to get to the pool bar. So I decided to get something called a pirate in a coconut tree. It's got tonic water, coconut water, I think, blueberries, coconut. D has a limoncello and tonic. It's really good. Well. It's like a fancy lemonade for adults. Nice. <laughs> I, taste, I tasted mine. It's not anything that I would be drawn to. Something about the combination of tonic water. I don't know. Not for me, I don't think. Let's see if you if you enjoy that one. It's not bad. It's, I can it, handle that. It's a little refreshing. Oh, it tastes like something I've had. Well, maybe we'll trade. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> see, you gotta mix it up. Well, this is a convenient little table. We got tunes here. There's a nice bucket in the middle of the table in case we imbibe too much and need to use it to, uh, <laughs> wow. look, you know. I don't it's, think that's what the bucket is. Are you sure? I think that's what ice is. It's like the purge, yeah. you know. I Oh, well. But ice and beer there. Ooh, another one gone. Ooh. Some of the group has decided to use the slide. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> the skirt and everything. Wow, slide in a skirt. That's courageous. <laughs> well, now it is time to head over to the cantina. We're gonna make a run south of the border. So next to Loco Fresh, it's Cantina Fresca. Oh, there is the official menu. Lots of margaritas, cocktails, tequilas. The back has a whole section of beers, wines, and zero fruits. Well, now it's time for the second best part of any bar crawl, carbs. Ooh, a couple of chicken burritos and a chicken quesadilla later. Mm. Uh, Diaz decided to go for a passion fruit margarita and I got the Fuego Fiesta, the spicy version. Ole! 
another one down and not too spicy. I like that one. <laughs> Let's let the tour of music filled venues continue. Oh dear. Welcome back to the hideaway. The music seems a lot calmer back here, which I'm excited about. There is our official fun cocktail menu one more time. Well, we've settled in back here. They got some DJ tunes. That's what's happening tonight. Well, now we can just relax back here for a while and enjoy the view. Ooh, to match the atmosphere we have going on here, Dia's gone with the Sunset Spritz, and I got the Oh My Goud, which is basically a Mai Tai. There it is. We've got another one down. All right, we are getting ready to leave the hideaway now, regretfully, because they busted out the 80s tunes. Oh, I love this ship in the dark. Everything all lit up. Oh, hey, here's base camp. And base camp has a bar to crawl. Oh, there is a slightly flickery peek at the base camp official menu. Yeah, we were toying with the idea of only ordering water here, but the bartender overheard D saying, oh, white Zinfandel, and out came a white Zinfandel. So I ordered the category six hurricane. I'm trying to get the signature drinks from each place we go to. Man, that has got some um, darkness floating on top of some redness, and it looks like some goodness. Now, technically, Deserted is also a bar, so D has gone and gotten a vanilla milkshake so that we can, you know, continue the authenticity of this bar crawl. Yo, they are jamming Cinnamon Toast Crunch on the top of this, and I think there's a giant donut hole or the end of a Twinkie. I'm not sure what that is, but that's cool. Now, while we're doing this experiment, we are making some wise water. decisions. Yeah. Right, yeah. drinking the water is a wise, conscious decision. Survival food. Oh my gosh, the cheese right curds. <laughs> look, stop, look. That's it. I'm glad, I'm glad you were out of focus. Oh my gosh. We ordered cheese curds, we did. and because they're delicious. Um, yeah. yeah, the experiment is going well so far. I've pretty much enjoyed everything I've tried. Except for that one weird coconut one, which you I liked. liked. <laughs> From this and I bar. like the limoncello one a lot better. Yeah. But it's going well so far. This um, hurricane, holy baloli. I think it's kind of authentic. So if it tastes like cough medicine, you're doing the right thing, right? If we remember to at the end, we'll let you know what our favorite drinks are. We might. Are. We'll forget, y'all. It's okay. Right now we're fine. We're still yeah. fine. Yeah. That's it. We got a lot of places to go, though. Let's do it. <laughs> well, the hurricane has blown away. There she is. And we also just learned you can't have food at this bar. So we are taking the cheese curds and sliding away. Cross-contamination, he said. So we'll respect that. Makes sense. Let the wandering continue. We are leaving Thrill Island. Wow, we haven't even looked at this cute little area. This is just outside the Aquadome Market on 15. Fun. We're making our way up toward the rye and bean. Yeah, they canceled the first aqua demonstration of the evening. Curious to see if they'll continue with the other ones. There is the rye and bean. Some stuff started percolating over here. They're gearing up for another presentation here in about er, probably an hour and change. Here is a peek at the rye and bean menu one more time. I decided to go with the coffee boulevardier like I had yesterday. D has gone with the big bobo, which is a playful take on a boba tea. Coconut rum, Earl Grey tea, milk, simple syrup, and boba. That's amazing. Yeah, they literally have espresso martinis on tap here. So this is the spot to be. Oh, now they're gearing up for some fun. Wow. We're still an hour out from the official preview, so hopefully they'll get to do the other two. No, Dee gave me one of her boba to chew on. It's not good. It's like a really, I don't know, firm texture. They're diving, sorry. Yeah, they're diving um, in the background. The taste is good of the drink, but the boba is not quite right. Yeah, it's really hard and strange. I've never had boba of that consistency before, so. Maybe anyway. it's very clean. <laughs> Ooh, let's some dive. more of this diving. Yeah. Stop looking at us. Look at these divers, okay? 
that. Yeah, it's interesting. They don't seem to have like a high dive option, at least that I can see anymore. Both of their platforms are kind of lowish. Do they jump off the top thing? See the rails? Oh there? my gosh. Like some, they do, they don't they? A waterfall curtain, something like that. So oh. Up, I do believe they will jump off of that. Well, that's amazing. But okay. We don't know yet. <laughs> All right. So that could be a jumpy pad. These could be jumpy pads. Well, these are jumpy pads. And then they're jumping off of these boards down below. And they're all standing on their heads, so um, <laughs> clearly that's a good core workout. It's actually more interesting to watch the behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. To I me, like, to see yeah. what all goes This is fascinating. It's all. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like so much work. Well, okay. I didn't even know he was going to do that. Never mind. I was zoomed in and I didn't catch it. Wow. All of a sudden I'm like, oh, there's a person. Ouch. Oh, wow. These sound like they heard. Well, during the show, there's a lot of music. You don't hear that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just land in the water to the beat. You'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna throw a wrench in the works. They still have the overlook closed for private function and there is a bar down here. Y'all, you know, we cannot complete the crawl to that little bar. What in the heck? Eventually we will get down to this area, but every time we come up here, it seems to be closed. Y'all, you know, should we get some bling bling? I feel like I need some bling bling. Welcome back to Central Park. We finally made it to kind of what I would consider the interior of the ship. So here, obviously, we have trellis bar, we have bubbly, we have the jazz and like blues bar. Oh, why are there so many bars? We're gonna kind of cheat this one. And yeah. Jay and Jason are gonna get a drink here, and Elisa and I are gonna go to Bubbles because I cannot drink. It's that a lot of liquid. Drink. So we're gonna cheat it a little bit, but it's still technically a bar crawl. We'll see. Let's leaf through the menu here at Trellis. Oh dear. Well, my choice from here is the roll and rye, which I've had before at various bars, but it's delightful. Thank you, Jay. Oh, stole my drink. Give it back now. What so, have you come back with? I went to Bubbles and I got the sparkling rose. I think it's like $8 a glass, but it's really tasty and has a bubbly prettiness that everybody loves. Nice. Yeah. That's my nickname in high school, bubbly prettiness. It is. I heard, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Two more down. <laughs> On to the next venue. Now, Lou's is open, but I think we're going to try to come back when there's music, maybe? So we're skipping Lou's for now. Welcome to Surfside. Oh my gosh. Oh, they've got lots of cute kid activities happening out here right now. Hello, Surfside again. Well, it is time for some lemon post excitement again. There is our beverage menu once again. Yeah. And there is the other side of the menu. Oh, we got cute little drinks that come in little bags. Like a Capri Sun. All right, we made our drink selections. D has gone with the Sailor's Delight, which has blueberry in it. I got the Slice of Life, which has watermelon in it. All right, now we've traded beverages. Um, I don't know if it's like a super sweet drink. It is yeah. good, but it's a little too sweet for me, so I switched with Jay. Mine had watermelon and tequila, so it's a little savory, but I, I don't mind her sweetness drink that oh. she got. So. <laughs> And I don't mind your sweetness in general. Thanks. Um, so we've traded, and I think we're doing very well. Yeah. Something for everyone. Here. We've done it again. Y'all, we're in Surfside. We might ride the carousel. What the heck? Oh, we are all in on this carousel. This is exciting. All of my life's goals are being realized right now. I'm sitting in an ice cream sundae. <laughs> D is on a narwhal. Could it get any better than this? Here we go. Y'all, this is the best thing we have done all night. This, I'm, I'm telling you, this is amazing. How's 
doing up there? You enjoying your narwhal? So far, so good. Okay. It's pretty comfortable, actually. Well, Elisa's over here on a flamingo. I'm not sure where Jason ended up, but he's he's around the corner. We tried to put him on this boat, but they said the boat was only for children, so. Oh, I think our ride is over. A short but amazing ride. Wow, totally worth the free cost of admission. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. if you're on here, do the carousel. Ride the narwhal. Just not in a skirt. I think that's it for Surfside. We have finally made it to the inside and we are going to start here at the Schooner Bar. Hopefully there's no Sweet Caroline tonight. Well, let's take a peek at the old Schooner Bar menu. A couple of new ones on here. That toasted marshmallow old fashioned. That peanut butter tropic is new. Good stuff. Southern Belle, very pretty and purple. I've got the toasted marshmallow old fashioned. Woo. Any beverage that comes with snacks or survival food is okay with me. Oh, the crawl continues. Wow, we came back up to the Aquadome just in time, apparently. Ooh, the Overlook might be open. This is the first time in a while. Oh, it's flickery down here. Oh, it's a whole ocean wonderland down here. Why has this been closed off almost the whole time? So here is the actual Overlook Bar. Well, let's see what they got going on. Oh, looks like it's a standard like fleet wide type menu. So that's okay, good stuff. I have gone with a Caribbean Mule and Dee has gone with a Malibu Diet Coke. Yeah, they close at nine o'clock down here. So we barely made this bar. There we go. Time to leave the outlook. We have made it to the promenade. Now, dueling pianos, we have not been in yet. It's been extremely popular every single night, rightfully so. It's new to Royal Caribbean, um, but they have a cool, like, pop rock string. Oh, yeah. We're going to go see if we can check it out and get in there. Oh, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. Dueling pianos. There is the base cocktail menu. Oh, they have the snap, crackle, and pop. Cheers. Well, I ended up with the Metallicor here. D got the Pop Rocks beverage, which Pop Rocks on the side. That's kind of fun. Snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Yeah. Yes, we pride ourselves loose from dueling pianos for now. Ooh, playmakers. We are ready for another snack. There is the official Playmakers menu. They're only doing a sampler platter right now, I guess, for this particular cruise. But anyway, there it is. And the backside with all the beers and all the whatnot, cocktails and all that. Ooh, D has gone Prosecco. I have gone black and gold. There is the sampler platter. It looks like an egg roll type device. Some wings, a slider, some fries. And some pristinely white ranch dressing. That's amazing. All right. Very hot. Let's dig in. Oh, I hear Boleros has kicked up for the evening. Well, we've got quite the extensive menu here. Very nice. We have decided to both get the Paloma here because we love a good Paloma. <laughs> Ooh, time to 
to motivate. Uh, we've come down to the pub now. There is no live music on the schedule tonight. Yeah, let's check out the menu again, just for fun. We're going to cheat again, and Jay and Jason are gonna get a drink here, and Elisa and I are gonna go to the 1400 Lobby Bar. What, that's tragic. It's too many drinks, I don't Whoa. know why. There we go. So I scored a Buffalo Manhattan. Let's wander over to the 1400 and see what D has come up with. Right here by the escalator. There it is, 1400. Now oh, they're out of a lot of beverages here. So D has gone with a Prosecco. Shocking, right? It's good though. Well, here is the menu for the 1400 bar. Now they go into like the history of the cruise line. All sorts of stuff. They've got drink menus sort of uh, peppered within, as it were. Gosh, this is like a book report that you had to do in school or something. <laughs> How many pages? Let me see what's in this Holy here moly. Start recording me. This is a lot of pages. All right, well, y'all, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. There. Well, there it is. Uh, the end is in sight. I think we're down to about two locations, which would be the karaoke bar and maybe lose if we go back out there. We have been at this for almost eight hours. That is a long, long time. So Spotlight Karaoke is one of the venues we are still missing. Well, let's take a peek at this menu, which also looks like a record, ironically enough. Lavender Haze. Oh man, we are gonna bop to some karaoke music. We have gone with the Jack and Diane and the Raspberry Beret. Two favorites here at the karaoke house. Oh, another one. We are in the home stretch. I think we only have one to go. It's officially Friday. 12.23. It is Friday. Is it really? Uh, so I think the revisit to lose here in the park might be the only bar we have left, other than Music Hall and some creative liberties that we took. All right, this is one of our favorite spots on the ship. We found some of our favorite beverages here. Oh, we found a little table inside. There is the official menu here at Lou's, of course. We just saw this yesterday, I think, but we'll look at it again. Into the early hours, and we have a wonderful day. Oh, we have shut down the blues jazz. Club. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good night. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ooh, our choices here at the last bar have been a swan song and a jazzy saz. Two of our favorites. We've done it. Y'all, we are ready to hop out of here. We have completed our bar crawl, believe it or not. Oh my gosh. It has taken nine hours to crawl the 18 bars that we intended to crawl. But we've done it. I feel very accomplished. Very confused, but very accomplished. I somehow magically feel fine. We drank a lot of water in between, had some snacks. Mm. We've tried, we've tried, pacing ourselves. It's a lot though, you guys, yeah. but um, we did it for research purposes. Solely, Solely. Yeah. it's for science, I tell ya. Right. So uh. if you guys can do it yourselves if you get the drink package, or if you wanna pay for each individual drink, that's up to you. Yeah. We're gonna get some pizza now, I think. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh, it's 1 a.m. Hello, Hello again. Now we promised we would pop in and let you know about after this grand experiment, what drinks really flew to the top of our list. And we actually remembered to come back and record that part. Shocking. Go us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So we tried a lot of stuff. We did. What made it to the top of your list? So the first one I'll have to say really impressed me. It was at the lime and coconut bar. It was the original lime and coconut. Never had it before. It's on pretty much, I think it's on every Royal Caribbean ship as long as they have that bar, but um, it's delicious. Yeah. 
Yeah, I sipped yours and I was gonna put that on my list, but I guess that's not fair because I didn't order it and I didn't have the whole one. I told him no, he couldn't. <laughs> he can't steal it from me. Man, no, I'm not putting mine in any particular no, order. No, I, I didn't, I just, they're not in an order. Yeah, just, yeah. I'm going in order of where I was. Oh, I that makes them. sense. Yeah. I'm not even that smart. <laughs> I'm just going top three. And the first one that flies into my brain is Majazzy Saz, which is funny because that's where we ended the night. It is, yeah. It's a play on a Sazerac. It's delicious and you get to listen to jazz tunes if you're in there at the right time. So Jazzy Saz. Mm. My next one is also from the Jazz Club. It is called The Swan Song. Um, it is Aperol and has some sort of guava mix in it. Okay. It's like perfectly light and sweet. It's not overly sweet and just it's very refreshing. It's it's so good. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep in the sort of bourbon-ish family, I think, and go for the Coffee Boulevardier at Rye and Bean. I love a good Boulevardier. Putting coffee in it made it extra special. It's got that bitterness. It's got that bourbonness. Yeah. That's it. Mine is also from Ryan Bean. <gasps> Are you copying um, me? No. Um, it's the espresso martini, which mm. oddly enough they have on tap, so they don't run out, and it's that popular. It's so good. Whatever the mix is, it's not too coffee or too sweet. It's a perfect mixture of all of that, and it's like got a really good foam on top. It's delicious. Nice. Yep. Um, and my is this my last one finally. I'm going back down to the schooner bar and I'm tapping into that new menu and I'm going for the toasted marshmallow old fashioned. They put cocoa bitters on it. It's got the marshmallow going on. I, I, maybe I just dreamed up some graham crackers. If they're not there, they need to be. They got the whole <laughs> s'mores thing happening and I approve. So Nice. So what we learned in this experiment is there's something for everyone's taste. Mm. There are so many bars on the ship. Um, they do non-alcoholic beverages as well, especially oh, yeah. like the lemon post. They yeah. have lots of like really fun lemonade options for adults and children alike. Um, yeah, there's, you'll find something you like. <laughs> you will, and, and looking back at all of the menus and all of the other stuff, there's a lot of good looking stuff at the 1400 bar, yes. so I have a feeling that we are going to find some more favorites down there. By the time we got there, I think we were just uh -huh. done, and I ordered champagne, I didn't even get a drink off their menu. And they I were so busy the though, and I didn't want to bother. Yeah, so 1400 yeah. is gonna get some more exploration, so stay tuned for our actual seven day yes. for real series coming up on Icon. You won't wanna miss it. Huh, but hopefully you enjoyed this <laughs> Experiment. Yep. Um, we did. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun with our friends. <laughs> Stay tuned for more excitement. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time, rock, rock on. on. <laughs>